Twin Peaks, California Roundup. This is where the roundups are being held today. Um, they are rounding up the wild horses due to lack of water in this one particular area. As you can see, this is a vast body of water. This is the dry season. Um, this is the lowest that this one particular reservoir gets. And again, they are seizing the animals due to lack of water in this geographical area. End of summer, 2010. So the whole thing is the water then? Water is the limiting factor in Twin Peaks. Yeah. There are about 800,000 acres, I heard a couple days ago, yeah, dedicated towards the wild horses. 800,000 acres in the Twin Peaks uh, HMA. Right. I mean, that's about the size of Rhode Island. It's a big <laughs> I think it can handle 3,000 horses, well, don't you? You know, there's not a lot of water. Yeah, I, really, I know horses really well. Born and raised, I have 30 horses myself. You're from where? I'm from Florida. There's not a lot of water. You have a lot. lot of feet. With that? You know, there's feet. Part of the problem is, is the water. They can't utilize. There's a lot of water here. But they can't a utilize lot. the whole area. How come? Because why? Because the water's too far away from them. Now there's water everywhere. I mean, I, I, I looked on the water maps. There's literally water everywhere. Well, you gotta go out there and look at it. Yeah. You, gotta, you know, there's a lot anyway, of stuff that shows you... on those maps. They're dry lakes. They're dry reservoirs. Do horses, do horses have um, access to the Dodge Reservoir? Yeah. They do, because that's a large, large body of water. And this is your driest time of the year. October's our driest time. Are you doing a roundup in the Dodge area? Th this, this is what, what we did over at the Cold Springs area. Right, right. And this would take care of that Dodge area also. So the horses that you're taking from here actually have access to the Dodge Reservoir for drinking? Um, I, I believe so. It's either here or the, the Cold Springs area that has a number of springs also. So okay. this, this home range is, is encompasses it. So why would the horses be taken off of this particular area if there's such a large body of water for them to, uh, to have access to? Well, it's the same question of, of it doesn't really matter where the water is, how big the water is. see a deer to the distance, to the left of the tree, um, along with the deer antelope. Um, the fence line to the left are keeping these animals as well as the horses away from their, um, their water supplies. As you just saw, it's 106 degrees out I'm in Twin Peaks, California. The wild Mustang roundups, um, wild horses. Some of these horses have been here for over a year. No shelter in the middle of the desert. Temperatures here range from 102 deg uh, 120 degrees in the summertime to 30 below in the winter. Um, you know, it's basically sad to see. It's, sad it's just to see. strange to me that a government facility that would have horses in a pen for over a year wouldn't have any shelter at all. You know? I know
know it's not your thing, but it's just, it's on my mind. It's, it's you know, it's bothering me. It's, it's, as an investigator, it's bothering me. You know? Uh, and that's been, that's been something that they've used for years. That you try to pin us down on, but they, they're Mustangs. They, they don't use them. If you, if you go up in the hills and you see all the shady parts under the large trees, you see horse shit everywhere, and that's, why, and that's because the horses are taking cover.